Yeah, there's a TV station and radio station over there. Hurricane, the recent ones like Irma, we didn't get any, well, damage because we didn't get a direct hit. Uh -huh. We were very lucky and yeah. they had lots of rain but nothing to really complain about. Because Dominica got it pretty bad and St. Martin and all those islands, yeah. yeah. The last time we had a major hurricane direct hit was in 2010. That was Hurricane Thomas. Oh. It was pretty bad. Lots of structural damage and landslides, you name it. area for the island is of course tourism but uh, coming in at second is agriculture our main crop export is bananas 75 percent goes to the uk and uh, we have bananas everywhere because it's never something we run out of and uh, <laughs> pretty much banana we always have it around because you can only get one crop of banana from the plant but you still always have bananas because when you harvest, you cut down the plant with the bunch of bananas, but there is always a baby plant next to the mother that takes the place of the mother when you cut it down. So in that way, the process, every 9 to 12 months, you have bananas. Yes, so that's why you see lots of big plantations on the island. And you usually see they cover them with some blue bags if we start any along the way, to protect them from the sun, prevent them from ripening fast. Because you cannot export uh, ripe bananas, you have to export with your own green bananas. Now we also uh, export cocoa to the uh, Hershey factory in Pennsylvania. Yes, so we export a little bit of avocado, a little bit of citrus. Yeah. Now we manufacture stuff on the island, like our own rums. We, have, uh, we manufacture about 20 different rums locally. The strongest one is 80%. Only for professionals. Ah. <laughs> if you're not professional, yeah. <laughs> 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 <It's this pretty>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we also uh, manufacture our own local beer. It's called the Piton beer. Yes, uh, we have a brewery also, part of the distillery. Anybody ever heard of banana ketchup? No. <laughs> oh yeah. That's getting very, very popular. That's something we make on the island. Yes, uh, banana ketchup. What comes to your mind when you hear banana ketchup? Sweet, yellow, yeah, not red, as you're used to. Now, it is sweet from the ripe banana, and it also has a little bit of spiciness to it. Yes, so it's like sweet and a little bit of spicy. So when we get to the stop, the main highlights, where you're gonna see the garden, they're gonna have you sample banana ketchup. Yes, so you get to try that. It's very delicious. You can put it on chips, french fries, hot dogs, anything. Anything savory is good on that. Oh yeah.
So let me guess, what are the folks in here from the US? We have uh, Canada? No, United States? Okay, we have UK? That's UK also? Okay. So you're from England? Or England? Also? So you're my United fans? I was hoping to find a friend, but... <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> Most of the United fans don't live in Manchester anyway, so... <laughs> All those people right there. The season it is mango season you won't even know which one to get yeah. because you're spoiled for choice mangoes just fall on the road fall in the yard people don't water it you know it's everywhere so I'm gonna check you out. no it's a good thing because you our main crop export is <laughs> and also they love bananas yeah. we wouldn't have any banana ketchup we'd have monkey ketchup <laughs> and we don't want that <laughs> Speaking another language to the driver? Yeah. Hey, yo, Patois. Wow. It's our second language. We don't learn it in school, but you're picking it from your elders. Yeah. Your friends. But the weird thing about it is you can learn it from your grandma or your mom, but you yeah. kind of speak it to them. Okay. Avocado, if you love guacamole, that's an avocado tree right there. Right here on your left. Tiny avocados in there. No. Right here on the left. Avocado. The tree? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Loaded, yeah. Yeah. They're gonna get way bigger now. Because there are some schools. Right. Mm -hmm. They're gonna get bigger than that. But all of them won't make it because some of them are already on the ground, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's an avocado tree. Avocado tree. Now, the reason why we speak Creole is because we were colonized, like I mentioned, by the French and the English. Now, the Creole is a French based with African dialect, and we sometimes down here put some English in there. We got a little spice to it, you know? Now, other islands that speak uh, Creole, Haiti, well, Haiti speaks as a country, speaks Creole, uh, Dominica speaks Creole, but you know, 
Placidly, French Guyana. Also speak Creole. In your eyes, in your audience in Louisiana, to speak Creole also. I heard that. But I've never met anybody from there to speak Creole with them, so eight years doing this job, and I've met people from all over the world, but not Louisiana. I don't know why. The Creole? There's, yeah, there's also a dictionary now. It's a recognized language now. Yeah. <laughs> I remember many years ago doing the same thing. <laughs> the bus is in the tourist passing, I was waving, and look now. <laughs> okay, so let me just teach you a few simple words in Creole. So, if you want to tell someone, uh, hello, good morning, how are you doing? You would say, bonjour, sac à fête. The bonjour is French, right? Right, right. Sac à fête, African dialect, yes. Bonjour, sac à fête. How are you going? Okay, hello, good morning. If you want to say, come over here, you would say, vini. The French would say something like vini, right? Yeah. If you want to say, go away, you would say, allez. If you want to call your husband or your wife, sweetheart or darling, you would say, du du in English, this means sweet cow. Oh. <laughs> I gotta warn you, don't say that back home. Nope. <laughs> you might be in trouble. <laughs> oh, lots of flowers. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of flowers. People don't handle even bother with flowers. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'll give a girl a bouquet of flowers, she's gonna be like, okay, whatever. Keep yeah. <laughs> going, you're gonna be spoiled. Penny flowers. Now the reason why there's a nice view over here, there were houses all the way to the front there, and all of them went down because of the hurricane torrents. Yeah. Yes, I told you about in 2010. Yeah. There were homes all the way to the front there, they went all the way down to the river. Oh, Big landslide. Wow. The road went down and everything. Oh. It's uh, been reconstructed now, so. But the good thing is nobody died in that. They had enough time to get out of the house. Yeah, so. <laughs> Little bit of rainforest. If you see some bamboo around, like over there on the left, cluster of bamboo, yeah. that's our national plant. You get quite a lot of bamboo on the island. Anybody who use bamboo sheets or bamboo clothing? Yeah. Yeah, it's very comfortable. Uh, but we also use it a lot. Pardon? We have bamboo floors. Yeah, some people do that also. Yeah. yeah. It's very, very common now. We also use it as scaffolding when we build our homes. It's very useful for that. Very, very strong. Now, the bamboo is a national plant. The national tree was what? <laughs> it started with the letter C. Calabash. There you go. Calabash. I'm going to test your memory on our way back. Especially the Creole words I just uh, just told you. Uh, don't worry. We have you. <laughs> Should I sing it? No. Oh, sure. Don't worry. <laughs> Not forgetting the national flower is the rose. Yes, that's a national flower. There was a debate between the rose and the hibiscus, but they eventually chose the rose. Ah. Yes. You don't have quite a No, we have a, a couple of plants, you know, way in the forest, that maybe if you touch it, the skin might itch and all stuff like that, but no poison anything. And no snakes. Yeah, we do have snakes. Oh, no snakes. But since we mentioned the snakes, I'm going to go to the topic of wildlife. So yeah, we have wildlife on the island. No lions, no zebras, no tigers, but uh, <laughs> we have some tiny stuff. You know, we have uh, lizards, tree lizards, ground lizards, pygmy geckos, the ones that stay in the house and eat the mosquitoes and flies. Yeah. Uh -huh. We have the iguanas, the big version to the lizards. We have those. We also have lots of birds. Six endemic species of birds on the island like the blackfish, the kiwi. Our national bird is a parrot. 
Yes, it's actually a parrot. And uh, concerning the snakes, yes. The two most common snakes you're going to get on the island is the bull constrictor, which is said to be the good snake. Oh. <laughs> when I say good, I mean it's not poisonous. It's not venomous. Yeah. It just gives you a nice hug or welcome to the island. <laughs> That's about it. Never lets you have it. That's right. And uh, we also have the poisonous one. We have a bad one. It's called Ferdinand, if you're aware of that. Oh, yeah, I know That's a bad boy right there. Copper colored on the back, yellow on the belly. Very dangerous. But it's not found everywhere. You get it mostly on the west and east coast. Uh, about like six feet. About there, yes. It's not that thick, but uh, you know about this long? Yeah, that's about this long. Oh, speaking of the national bird, the parrot, I have a picture of it on my undershirt. I'm going to show you. But they don't stay uh, in low air, low lying areas. They usually hide in the patients. Yes. Can I get some music? Amazon or Pussycola is the name, but we just usually say the Japo. It's a Creole. Creole word for parrot. Yes. Amazon or Pussycola, right? Yes, with all the different colors, you see? Yeah. Very pretty bird. in the city, general post office here. So we're not so lucky. Now, if you want to find a place out here, you're going to get very confused. Because if, let's say you're coming back to the island and you want to get the driver's house or Ken's house, they're not going to give you a house number or a street number. They're going to tell you the community and they're going to give you the directions by the color of the house. So, they're going to tell you Ken's house is the blue house next to the green house behind the yellow house. <laughs> That's going to be confusing because there are like three houses in the same area with the same color. So, you got to go up to every door, knock, looking for Ken. That's how it is. school or oh, secondary school. 